this city. Nashville. Praise the Lord. We bless God for a beautiful day, the fourth day in the month of December. A Bible passage is taken from the book of Mark, Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 14, and verse 20 to 24. Our topic today says, show your faith in God. Show your faith in God. Our memory verse is from Psalm 125, verse 1. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abideth forever. Memory verse again. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. And a Bible passage is taken from Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 14, and then verse 20 to 24. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, it was hungry, and seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if happily he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time for for the time of victory was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eats fruits of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Verse 20 to 24. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter calling to remembrance says unto him, Master, behold, the victory which thou causest is withered away. And Jesus answering says unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto, the mount, unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. Verse 24, the last verse. Therefore, I say unto you, whatever things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye received them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Amen. That is a practice of faith. Memory verse once again says, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. At the opening of the story in today's Bible reading, the Lord Jesus Christ saw a victory that, though blossoming, had no fruit. The Lord therefore decided to teach his disciples two major lessons from it. The first is that is the danger of fruitlessness, even when the grace of God is upon our lives. The victory was leafy and green, a sign that it had potential to bear fruit, though it was not bearing any. I pray this will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Thus, Jesus delivered judgment upon it immediately. 
The second reason Jesus taught his, his disciple on that day is on faith, because he decreed that the fig tree should dry up, and it came to pass immediately. Jesus' words in Mark 11.22 provides the foundation of our major lesson today. He said to his disciples, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Whatever we desire as children of God, we should put it forward to the Lord in prayer and we shall receive it. You may wonder why, you may wonder then why he asked in Luke 18, 8. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on us? It's a serious question. As bold as Peter was, he kept quiet. But by his mercy, by his grace, Jesus will find faith when he comes back in Jesus' name. He will find faith in me. The above is where the above is where the challenge lies for many believers who, who are yet to receive answers to their requests from God. The only way such a person such people can get what they want is by exercising faith in God. Faith in God, beloved. Take note of the words of Jesus Christ in today's reading, which says, And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he seeth shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he seeth. So faith is what we need to receive everything we need freely without any us without any problem, because he has promised us that we should ask. Ask. He shall be given. Knock. It shall be open. Seek. And he shall find. So this is a fantastic promise from our Father, Jesus Christ. It is one thing to pray. It is another thing to actually believe that God will do what we have asked for. The story is told of a priest who called for prayers because there had been droughts in the land. After the congregation had gathered for prayers, the priest looked around and asked, Brethren, are you not ready to pray? The parishioners replied, How do you mean? That is what we have come to do. He asks again, what have you come to do? And they chorused to pray for rain. Then he asks, where are your umbrellas and raincoats? If indeed you believe God will answer your prayers, that's a great question. The parishioners' faith was stirred up. So they went to fetch their umbrellas and their raincoats. God honored their faith and gave them rain. What a lesson. Beloved, you must have faith in God for him to bless you. Hallelujah. Trust only God, not your friend, even yourself. You may disappoint yourself at any time. I pray the Almighty God will help us to put these words from our Father and the Lord into practice. Show your faith in God. Show your faith in God. The prayer point for today says, increase my faith today. 
like a song we normally sing when I was still youth. Today, today, tomorrow, no more. If I rise today, I will fall no more. Today, today, tomorrow, no more. If I die today, I will die no more. Praise the Lord. So increase my faith today, not tomorrow. So we are going to pray now that God should increase our faith. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, according to your word today from our Father in the Lord, Father, increase my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, increase my faith, increase my faith, increase my faith. It is written that without faith, we can't please God. Father, increase my faith. I need it. I need it urgently. In the mighty name of Jesus, I need that faith urgently. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. The almighty God will answer our prayer. But remember Show your faith in God is the only reliable source of anything we need in this life. God bless you.
this city. 